Good morning, sixth grade staff, students, families, and friends. We're so glad you could join us this afternoon to participate in our first semester awards. We're trying to do something to celebrate middle school students, bring a little, a little bit of a ray of light into your world. So here we go. We're gonna start off with Miss Scantlin, your awesome English teacher. Marry me. Okay, don't sing or dance. <laughs> okay, Miss Scantlin, you're up. Okay, I don't have a slide. I'm sorry. I should have made a screenshot of my stuff. That's not a problem. How about if I announce and you just say something? Sure. Hey, give us just a second for technical difficulties. Okay, sharing. Are you pulling it up? Uh-huh. Hey, Mrs. Scantlin, I can see that the most helpful award is being given to Sophia Mitchell. Tell us a little bit about Sophia Mitchell. I'm sorry. I I sorry. She's not giving me a choice unless she email it with me. Okay, I'll email it to you. Okay, I will. Okay, folks, again, thank you for your patience. We're having a little bit of technical difficulties, but we have a workaround. Oh, for crying out loud. Just shared it with you. So, did everybody enjoy our snow last weekend? Yes, definitely. You know, what a huge surprise! <laughs> Get up one morning. It, it's been so strange because we've had. It seems like we're going into summer and then we're back in winter, jumping exactly. back and forth. Today, just looking out the window, it looks awful warm, but then being outside, it still has, is a bit nippy. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to make you the presenter? You're just going to talk and I'm going to Yeah, we can see the slides now. Yay. That's the slide? Uh-huh. All right. I will I will um No, it's going too fast. You have to do it one at a time. 
There we go. And the first one up. One minute. If you just hit the space bar, it'll do it. Okay, first up for Ms. Scantlin. So this isn't our normal setting in the gym where everyone can clap and we can give you hugs and things like that. Um, so we are going to just go with this. Um, first up is most helpful goes to Sophia Mitchell. Next, that is most helpful is Nathan Gruber. Yay, Nathan. And then we have our tech guru who helps me out quite a bit, and that would be Nathan no, no, Narosky. Garrett? Way to go, Garrett. <laughs> And Tristan Lopez as our other tech guru. And a writing, writing wonder, Charlotte Campos. And Richard Bonco, who will probably one day be an author. And one that is always kind to others, and you can tell it even through the screen, is Lauren Wells. Yeah. And Adeline Perez who shows kindness all the time, shows up even on Wednesdays just to see if I'm having a good day. Thank you, Adeline. And Sophia Roca with her soft spoken voice, she's always showing kindness to others. Yay, Sophia. Most productive, Jaden Reyes gets his work done and turns it in on time. And also Olivia Solanto, she's always right on time to class. She has her camera on and she gets her work done. Thank you, Olivia. And next up is Mrs. Bear. All right, well, thank you guys for hopping onto this meeting with us and um, thank you parents for supporting your student on the other end because this is definitely something that takes everybody's, everybody's effort to make it work. Uh, this first award I have goes to Valerie Rodriguez for being most helpful. She is just, she will volunteer for anything in class and I love it. Um, it's kind of hard to get the sixth graders to love to show their faces and unmute and speak um, and read, but she is always like, I'll do it, I'll do it. And even when I haven't even asked yet, she's typing me in the chat, can I read Mrs. Bear? And I absolutely love it because I know she's always my go-to girl for those things. Hey, Valerie. Um, next, I have Lillian Fundell or Lily Fundell. She's also really helpful. She just she knows answers to everything. Like she she listens really well, and so when somebody is asking me to repeat, she can jump in and she can repeat, which I love because then I don't have to do all the talking in class. Um, and she's just always super helpful when I need it. Thanks, Lily. Yay. 
All right, and I also have Fraser Dixon, who is also very helpful. Another one that loves to chime in, loves to participate in those class discussions, always willing to read for me, um, and always there when I need just that extra student support for anything. So thank you, Fraser. Hey, Fraser. So I have a couple of tech gurus. I have a few of them in my class. And it's funny because I am I usually do my school stuff with my students on my MacBook and most of them are on iPads. And it's just completely different how it works on an iPad with how it works on your MacBook. And so sometimes, a lot of times I feel like I'm saying, hey, click here or go over there. And they're like, no, Mrs. Barrett, we don't have that on our end. But I always have my tech gurus that will step in and they're like, no, this is how you do it. Look, you just split the screen going this way and you just, and they're just so savvy. It's just mind blowing really how much they know about the technology and how quick they figure things out. So one of them is Bryson Randolph. Hey, hey. Bryson. Hey. And then I also have Landon Applegate. So, yay, Landon. yay, Landon. And truly, I thank you guys for um, all your help with the technology, because if it weren't for you and your help, I don't know where we would be right now with the class. So. All right. My next award goes to a wonderful writer. This young lady, well, I guess it's to be expected that she's gonna be a wonderful writer because her mother is an English teacher. Um, but she is just, writes far above her grade level. She speaks very eloquently. She writes really well. Um, she's always has proper grammar and punctuation and, uh, she has really good thoughts that she puts out there. She really, she doesn't just give an answer that's basic. She really puts extra thought into what she does and she does it. She's just awesome. She does it really well. So good job, Hope. Way to go, Hope. Hope is also a fantastic pianist. Most productive, I have a few of these wards. Uh, the first one going to Talar. She turns in her work on time, all the time, and it's correct. She does what she needs to do. She gets it done. If she doesn't, if she isn't sure of something, she's asking me questions for clarification, and she really takes pride in what she does. So I'm very proud of her for her hard work um, this first semester. Good job, Talar. Next most productive goes to Aiden McDonald. So he is the same way. It just runs in the family, well, the Kerkorian family and the McDonald family, because all of the siblings I've had so far are the same way as well. They are hard workers. They take pride in what they do. So Aiden takes pride in everything he does in my class, and he makes sure he understands it. He does a good job with what he is doing, and he always turns everything in on time. So good job, Aiden. Samuel is another one who is really productive in class and he always asks clarifying questions, which I love. So he'll hop on to my, my open office hours and um, in the beginning, especially he was hopping on and he's like, I just, I wanna make sure I'm doing this correct. I wanted to do it with you, which I loved because then I had somebody on my office hours and I wasn't staring at a blank screen. So I had a student with me and he really knew what he was doing all the time. Um, but he just wanted to like be really methodical about it and make sure he was working through it the best he could. Um, and he's awesome. Gets his work done, gets everything done on time. So good job, Samuel. So the next two awards go to uh, people I have chosen for kindness. And I think that over Zoom, so kindness is really big to me. It's something that I really try to push on my students um, a lot, just the importance of being kind to everybody. And I think that when we're on Zoom meetings, it's especially hard for that to shine through sometimes because it's easy just to want to turn off the camera or just mute ourselves. But these students, um, I have two of them that are getting this award and they're, they just so happen to be in my homeroom as well. And they make me smile every morning. So 
this girl, Alexa, she is such a live in the moment, live for the moment type of girl, which I absolutely love. She's a smile on her face with everything she does. She's always sharing things to just brighten your day. Um, she shares her art with me and just different crafts she does. And she's and she's just kind to everybody. Like she she will just randomly go, hey, so-and-so, how are you doing today? Or good to see you on Zoom. And I just love that she shows up to my class every day with excitement, a smile on her face, and just a love of life. So good job, Alexa. And then my last one, um, um, yeah, my last one for JoJo. She is another one. She just, she will carry on a conversation with you, make you feel so important and um, ask you how you are and how your day's going. And she'll send a periodic email or whatever the case is. She just, she definitely lets her kindness shine through um, and, just how she speaks to everybody in the Zoom. And she's another one who loves to share things uh, with me and just brightens my day when she enters my classroom. So good job, Jojo. Good job, Jojo. Next up, we have Mrs. Clopping. Yay, Mrs. Clopping. Oh, please. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Ritchie. Okay, so uh, students, I would like to highlight for this first semester, Our my first student up is Levi. Levi is extremely helpful. He's always willing to jump in. He always said, you see the little uh, picture there and little happy beaker. Yes, he is, he is always ready to help others, to help me to add his own perspective. And I highly appreciate that, especially in distance learning. Sometimes it's hard to make that connection to where everybody's up and interacting and having fun, but Levi, he really does help our class move along in a positive direction. So thank you so much, Levi, I really appreciate you. So high five, uh, yes, my dude, you're doing awesome. Next slide. Am I supposed to go to the next slide? No, we got it. Okay, cool. See, I need my tech guru yep. right now. <laughs> oh, perfect, thanks so much. Okay, so my next recipient is Thomas. Thomas is an awesome guy. It's funny because at the beginning of the quarter, he was a little sluggish to go, the first quarter. And then as soon as he um, started participating in class, that kid is awesome. He's so amazing. He has great insight. He's always there, like once again, similar to Levi, they're just ready to jump in and help anybody that needs help, whether it's technology or whether it's, you know, something with a concept that we're going over or something that he's had firsthand experience with. So I really appreciate his interaction in class and he makes our class better. So thanks, Thomas, double high five. Uh -uh. Okay. Next, I have Alexa. Alexa is so sweet, so smart, and so totally amazing. And um, if Alexa's mom or dad or parent or auntie or anybody is watching right now, thank you so much for what you do to make your kid so awesome. She is just so fun and a pleasure to have in my class. And for all of these recipients, uh, hopefully the kids are looking at their parents saying, thank you because we, they wouldn't be the awesome people that they are that we get to interact with without you. So I just wanna give a high five out to parents. Uh, I don't know why I keep doing that, that's so crazy. But um, Alexa, yes, you are wonderful. I highly appreciate you and you help make our class a wonderful place, so thank you. Okay, most productive, I have Alessandro. Alessandro is another one of these guys that at first I think he was a little standoffish on um, Zoom, but then after he figured out, hey, you know what, this can be okay. And he really adds um, an element of excitement to the class. Uh, I appreciate his perspective. He always has um, his assignments in and he's always stretching to learn more and interact with not only myself, but other students. So I really appreciate 
his uh, spirit of creativity and turning things in that are awesome. So thank you, Alessandro. And I only have one word for you. Why? That's an inside <laughs> joke. Okay, high five to you. Okay, most productive. I have Alyssa. That shouldn't be a surprise. I'm sure all of the teachers right now are all shaking their heads. Oh yes, Alyssa, she is just one hardworking chick. This girl is going to be some amazing, she's gonna have some amazing occupation because she can do anything. She's just fantastic. And I really appreciate how hard she works and how productive she is in science and how she's just amazing. So. Alyssa, keep up the great work and you are wowing us already. So thank you. Most productive, Amber. Amber works super hard. Um, I see this girl, she is continually thinking about how to do her very best. And that is like something that you can't really teach you have to be like you have to be driven within to be able to do so well and want to achieve great things and she's just i don't know i love that kid she's just amazing she works so hard and she's going to do amazing things someday and she's already doing amazing things in science so amber highly appreciate all your efforts and you're doing a great job keep up the great work mm -hmm. Okay, most productive, Trevor, drop the mic, it's Bill Nye. Okay, Trevor, super smart, super brilliant, super amazing guy. He turns in his work. He is always giving his perspective. He may not be the most vocal on Zoom, but anytime he's called on or if I'm asking for chat responses, he's always there. So um, parents of Trevor, if you're there right now, Thank you, thank you, thank you for just reminding, <laughs> reminding him to be on task because he always is. So he's doing an amazing job and I wish I had more Trevors. <laughs> awesome job, Trevor, thank you. And another most productive, I think this is my grand finale, that would be Justin. Justin is an amazing guy. He's so very intelligent and he but at the same time he's humble so it's like it's refreshing to have a student who volunteers to assist but isn't just trying to monopolize the conversation he's very complimentary to others but um he's just doing a really amazing job due to great parenting again i can't i always have to reflect on the parents because it's just from great parenting too but justin Keep up the great work. You're doing a fantastic job, and I really appreciate how hard you work in class. And Miss Petaway, our awesome sixth grade math teacher. Thank you. So welcome, everyone. Thank you for attending and just taking some time to do this part of school, which is so exciting for me. So um, being a new teacher, it's awesome to go last because I'm like, let's see what they're gonna say. So thank you, ladies. All right, so first up for most helpful is going to go to Jacob B. Um, I believe his last name is Batarse, but I don't wanna butcher it. So I just call him Jacob B. Uh, Jacob B has certainly come out of his shell. He is awesome at volunteering. Um, and he's one that started off very quiet and calm. And now it's like, I can't get him to stop, which I love. So Jacob B, thank you for being so helpful in class. Thank you for always volunteering um, and just making sure to be the go-to person when I need you. So thank you, Jacob B. All right, next is our tech guru, Miss Hannah Deal. That's okay, Miss Hannah. <laughs> so Hannah Deal is doing awesome. Um, she's another one that volunteers a lot. But for Hannah, I love calling on her for technology because she slows me down and she reminds me of how important it is to be clear and concise with my directions. So Hannah is such an amazing student for going over technology. How do you upload something? How do you find the time for IXL, iReady, Mafia, and every other thing that we're supposed to be doing? So Hannah, thank you so much for volunteering, kiddo, and keep up the great work. Hannah Deal.
All right, our Writing Wonder Award is gonna to go to Brianna Vasquez. So Brianna, in writing in general, writing is not something that you would expect to do in math, but I do make them write all the time. I make them explain their steps, I make them answer questions, anything like that, and Brianna just always takes it a step up and does the expectation that you are required to do in English for math. So thank you, Brianna, for setting such a high standard for yourself um, and for everyone else. While we're waiting on technology, I just want to send a big shout out again to all the parents. Thank you guys for all you're doing for your students. Um, I wish I could give an award to every one of my students, um, but for this round, it's like just amazing to see the growth that they've had from semester one to semester two, beginning of the year to now. So great job, you guys. All right. Yes, thank you. Well, special round of applause to the parents for sure. All right, our Fitness Fanatic Award is going to go to Elijah Adesita. So Elijah is one who I like to involve as much as possible in the math conversations because he always relates it back to football or sports or Kobe Bryant or anything that's sports related. So Elijah, thank you for keeping me up to date on sports and for just making class so engaging with your discussion. Thank you, Elijah. All right, our Awesome Artist Award is gonna go to Lily G. Again, trying to pronounce her last name, Garcio, I'm not sure, I just call her Lily G. Uh, she's one that's also come out of her shell this uh, semester. Beginning of the quarter, uh, quarter one, she actually turned in several assignments and had just artwork, which I commented, I'm like, this is so beautiful, Lily, thank you, but where's your actual work? And she'd resubmit it to me, and I'm like, thank you, kiddo, I know you got it. But she's one that will always make me smile just from her drawings and the amount of talent that she has. So Lily G, I know I teach math, kiddo, but keep your artistry going because you are going to be amazing. So awesome artist goes to Lily G. And last but not least, uh, most productive is going to go to Braden Conley. This is a student that, again, keeps me on my toes. He will email me. Mrs. Pettyway, how do I do this? I can't get in. Why is this saying this? Did you make a mistake? Um, and again, it goes to great parenting because having a personal parent conference with his mom, it just shows me where his um, inspiration and his work ethic comes from. So thank you again, Brayden, for keeping me on my toes and making sure I'm doing my job. You make my life so much easier. Most productive to Brayden Conley. And I'm not sure if we have Ms. Seacrest on board yet, but um, uh, Richie, um, I just I've been corresponding with Ms. Seacrest since she doesn't have a mic because I don't know if she was added as a teacher. But um, may I give her awards? I would love that. Thank you. That would, that would be fantastic. See, I get to hug the camera again with these <laughs> awesome kids. OK, um, her first award, she has two awards to give. And uh, her first award is for Efren. Efren is a very kind young man and he always participates in class and she just so appreciates how hard he's been working and that he is such a nice young man to work with. So Efren, keep up the good work and Ms. Segris says, good job. Okay, and oh, and I'm sorry, lastly, she wanted me, she asked if I would recognize, she said, you know what, there's one young man who has been working so hard, she said, um, this would be John Batarse. She said, John Batarse has been working so hard and he participates in her class and she so enjoys that he speaks out and, and um, really tries hard and works hard in her class. So she said, I really want to highlight him, even though he's not on the screen, his name isn't on the screen, she said, he is doing fantastic. So good job, John. Keep up that good work, John. And that, that would be it for Mrs. Segrist. Okay. Do we have Ms. Colomb on board? 
she may not have gotten the memo. However, I do know most of her kids. So um, her first award for most helpful goes to a young man who is also very, very kind, and that would be Logan Thomas. Logan has been with us for many, many years, I believe since kindergarten, and uh, just an awesome, awesome young man. Great job, Logan, keep it up. Okay, next up we have our fitness fanatic, which for Mrs. Cologne was very much appreciated as she is also a fitness fanatic, and that would be Lexi Henderson. Lexi, keep up the good work. You are the fitness queen, way to go. Okay, that is the end of our sixth grade celebration. Thank you all so much. So sixth graders, welcome to middle school. You're doing great, keep at it, and you're just a fantastic class. Thank you for making us all smile and being such awesome young people. Take care. Bye guys. Bye. Then we just need to end.